good morning to you all. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to this seminar, which is the second seminar of this of our project and cover. And just a very little um, speech on why we are here, what the, the uncover uh, project entails. Um, and just to provide you a little bit of context, so uncover is the first ever comprehensive transdisciplinary study uh, about sexual violence in the Portuguese mediascape and is coordinated by Julie Gahayo and myself and includes uh, an interdisciplinary um, different members from different disciplines, namely Christian Campo as a consultant, Tatiana Mora, Daniela Neto, and are here, but lots of other people that integrate our team. Um, and to start to tell you about, about what the project is about, it's important to tell you that it assumes that sexual violence is a gender phenomenon framed by notions of sexual normativity, masculinity, femininity and power dynamics and that these, in context shaped by colonial legacies and anxieties regarding immigration, like Portugal, it clearly interacts with notions of race, ethnicity, with religion and nationality. And on pair with this, we assume that patterns of media visibility can serve political agendas, generate moral panic, be a marker of social racialized exclusion, or promote gender justice uh, and equality, with sexual violence being no exception to this. And so taking all of this into account, what Uncover tries, will try to do through, is trying to do through these three years, is to look at the role of media in deconstructing and reproducing imaginaries revolving around sexual violence in Portugal, and it will examine how the media reported, discussed and imagined sexual violence between 2011 and 2022, and how audiences interacted with these narratives in an attempt to explore the centrality of the media's mediation of sexual violence, shedding light on mediated causes, processes and impacts. And with just this little bit of context of what Uncover is and what you can expect from Uncover in three years, um, I will now give the floor to Julia to guide us through what we can expect today. Thank you, thank you, Sophia. So Uncover started in March this year, and the first six months of the project were dedicated to the task of research preparation. This task was designed with the aim of providing the literature, legislation and policy review on the project's main topics and the building of the conceptual and methodological, methodological framework which could inform the preparation of the fieldwork and, and establish the basis of, for the analysis of the collected data. So we are talking basically about literature reviews and the preparation of the fieldwork, namely the selection of the corpus of analysis and the preparation of the databases. Uh, this task included a final seminar on the legal political framework whereby the main scientific results of the research preparation could be presented, discussed uh, as well uh, and this, this seminar should also include scientific uh, inputs from our consultants and that is precisely what we are doing here today in this seminar. So we will start with uh, Kirsten Campbell. Kirsten Campbell is from Goldsmith University of London and she's also a dear friend from the International Research Group Sexual Violence and Armed Conflict. Uh, Kirsten is our research consultant on issues related to conflict-related sexual violence in international criminal law and transitional justice. Uh, her session will be moderated by our colleague from the project, uh, Teresa Cravo. Uh, in the afternoon, we will have our sessions in Portuguese and we will start with uh, Isabel Ventura. Isabel Ventura is our national consultant on issues related to sexual violence in Portuguese law and Maria João Faustino who will start working in this project in December. Uh, they must be arriving, uh, I mean they are coming from Lisbon so they must be arriving at any minute. So uh, Isabel and Maria João, they will discuss today Portuguese legislation in the aftermath of the Istanbul Convention. Their session will be moderated by our colleague from the project, Rita Basil Simões. Uh, then our colleague from the, the project, Alexandre Souza de Carvalho, who is there, <laughs> uh, will present a, a review of the Portuguese policy on non-governmental initiatives aimed at combating and preventing sexual violence. This session will be presented by our colleague from the project, Inês Amaral. So, 
Um, then finally, we will have a conversation with Angelo Fernandes. Uh, Angelo is our national consultant on issues related to sexual violence against children, trauma, and recommendations for the media. Uh, as most, I'm sure that especially the Portuguese uh, people, the people living in Portugal, know him. He is the count, is a, a very visible in the media. He is the founder of the association Quebrado Silencio, so Break the Silence the first Portuguese association specialized in the support of male victims of sexual violence. Uh, our colleague from the project, Tatiana Mora, who is here, and I will be talking with Angelo today about practices of covering sexual violence in Portuguese mainstream media. Uh, Quebrado Silencio has recently produced guidelines for the press about how to report and talk about sexual violence as well as guidelines about how to speak and interview victims and survivors of sexual violence. So this will be some of the main topics of our discussion today. Uh, Angelo has uh, brought, will bring several copies of the guidelines to share with us. So if you are interested in having access to these guidelines, you will bring some copies to, to share with us. Um, so uh, I will also use this moment to call your attention to the cinema program, The Power of Representations, that will take place next week, uh, from Monday till Friday, always at 4 o'clock at Antonio Sal uh, Auditorio Salgado Zanian here in Coimbra. Uh, this, this program is a partnership between the festival Caminho do Cinema Português and the projects Uncover, Disentangle, Break and Engage. So this <coughs> It will include the projection of a selection of films, uh, conversations with directors, and a roundtable discussion that delves into the multifaceted aspects of sexual violence and its representation in contemporary cinema. So, if you are interested in these sessions, please contact us because we have free tickets for the sessions. You don't have to pay the entries, we can share entries with you. Uh, so, thank you very much. Thank you for Kirsten and all our guests who are here and for you who are attending this seminar. Uh, wish you a nice day.